here. It says caution, steep grade. We ate the curb here. We tried to unload one of the vehicles. We couldn't get it to start. Oh. He thinks there's no gas in it. Okay. So he wasn't able to, to back it off of there. It's just the trailer that really got got into uh, it. Into the guardrail there, knocked over a, a light pole right there. It's gonna be awful. Okay guys, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. I guess I'm not sure what I'm into. I've, I've heard that uh, the PD called us and said they have a semi and it's got <laughs> trucks and ambulances loaded on it and, and it's stuck on this road right here. So this is technically Cherokee Orchard Road, but it goes up to the Park Vista. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to get into or or if we can even help. Why in the world did a, a semi loaded with ambulances and trucks came up? I see someone standing. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. Oh. We're it's on. like a hot shot truck, huh? Uh, yeah. Not a semi. into it. Yes. Let's get up and check it out. Maybe he can unload that last one. How are you, sir? Uh, this driver doesn't speak uh, English very well. Okay. But you can pretty much see he ate the curb here. Tried to unload one of the vehicles. We couldn't get it to start. Oh. He thinks there's no gas in it. Okay. Uh, the, he's turning over, but uh, nothing. Yeah, so he wasn't able to, to back it off of there. I guess his his hot shot truck works. It runs and all that good stuff. As far as I know. Okay. It's just the trailer that really got got into uh, it into the guardrail there, knocked over a, a light pole right there. Okay. Well, maybe I can get this truck to get the disabled one out of the way and then maybe I can get his trailer scooted over and him headed back up the hill. I Hopefully that parking lot's not really packed if he can get a spot to turn around. A lot of them have left. Okay. So I, but I'm not... But I guess he's staying up there, right? Uh, yeah, I think there's a, a convention, convention or something that they're, they're trucking for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I am going to pick up. Okay. Uh, I am driving. My time must not rest. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll get we'll get you. We'll get you. Thank you, buddy. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get. This one won't run. This car is uh, parking. Okay. Uh, this uh, gas no. No gas. Okay. No gas. Okay. Okay. I uh, know. Case. No, no, no. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna come over here and we'll we'll get it. But if we just yeah put the car, key case. in. The, yeah, yeah. If you could put those in it. I'm just gonna set those right there for just a second. So he's worried about his tire. No, um, I'll, I'll back up right here in front of the cruisers and if you can try your best to turn around to scoop that one. And then after we get that one loaded, we're just gonna put it up there up front, there's a little pull off around that corner. We'll get it hooked and then get it over there. And he then- He can get it off of there. He said it's out of gas, it won't run. Okay. Yeah, but if Coven can scoop that one and, put it, on that and put it on the corner, I'll get out of your way so you can turn around. Okay. Huh? So you just said, you said it it's out of gas, it won't run. I've talked to him and the officer. Yeah, um, see if you can just, see if you can turn around in front of my truck. Yeah, I would, i pull up front end facing that way and then try to wiggle.
get Coven turned around so he can unload this one that doesn't run. You're good, you're good. Hold up. You're okay. Go straight. That'll be enough to grab it. Um, yeah, go ahead and lift. I'll go ahead and hook you. Am I gonna need to go down the hill before you can back it up? Yeah. And then if we can get it over there by those, actually, Probably what we'll do is just send you, because I might need to be over here set up. You want me to just... Just, just take it down the hill okay. and then find you a place down there to... To unload. To unload, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, just there. leave it. Just That's leave it. Pull out uh, right on Cherokee Orchard. Yeah, there's a little... Okay. Yeah. Where we came from. Yeah, just go down there. I, I should be able to get this. Well, so he'll probably want to re -hook once he gets straight. Yeah, just go all the way to the bottom of that pull-off on Cherokee. That way I've got you completely out of the way. Okay. Go straight up and then try to... Just just come off at that angle. Okay. You should be okay right there. I, I think it's locked. Okay. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. So just go real slowly while you pull it down yeah. off of here. good shape yeah it's in good shape you might raise up a little bit you should be okay there I'll call you Let's see if we can get up here and get this look up. See if I can get somewhat sideways to get a decent enough pull. I might have to renegotiate this in a minute, but we're gonna try that for now. tire yeah okay yeah let me see i don't know what we'll need to get it pulled back over that yeah uh this
he's super concerned about his tires popping, which that is a good concern, but he's also up against the guardrail support in the front. We'll, uh, we might have to offload the rest of these because I won't be able to scoot it back across that. Yeah, will these run? These are big, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The one up there will probably be okay, but this next one will probably need to come off. <laughs> Is that too steep of an angle for you? Be uh, careful. He's gonna back this one off. I'm good. Be careful. Right Open your mirror. I would say up there. Yeah, let's do a chain. Do you want instruction? Uh, yeah, I, I bought some for this, didn't I? Yeah, let so, me outside. I'll just use those. Okay. I'm gonna get a snatch block. It probably wouldn't hurt, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll take the box and put these stuff to fill it with his too.
Coven, I need the yellow one. Are you gonna want me to sit up next to you to try to help you pull? I don't know, we'll see how it goes first. Okay. If, it'll, if we can get enough lift and pull. Okay. Grab the slug. Yeah. Stay here for now. Yeah. Tell me, come here, tell me when I'm clear where I can pull sideways on that tire. I have to go up? Not going to clear it? I'm worried about the bus. The ones up here are kind of far away from it, but I think this one's still, I think these back tires are on it. That one might be. I can't tell if those are here or not, but these up here look like they're doing way up high. Yeah, that one definitely, definitely is, isn't it? but I think we're gonna to have to offload that ambulance if we don't want it on its side in the middle of the road. That's probably the safe bet. Yeah, I think we're gonna to have to take it off too. I'm sorry, man, but I think we're gonna to have to take that ambulance off too. What you gotta do? It's just those arteries just so high and just so caught on those. 
I just don't want that thing to be on its side. Did those not pop or anything? No, they're still good. That's kind of crazy. That ambulance is not going to like that. It's not going to like that angle. Do his back. It's gonna be awful. It's fine. I'm just glad it's tilted this way and not that way. He just leave it right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's awful. That should make a lot. At least we don't have to worry about turning it over. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay right there. Yeah, I would leave them because we don't want it to go nowhere. Same thing, just let me know when that tire clears that. Pull now. Higher? Probably have to do that again because I still don't think he'll make that. I'm gonna do that one more time, hopefully, because he still won't make that corner, I don't think. I 
I think we'll be okay without the chalks now. Hey, Coven, will you put my winch into neutral or into park? I'd say that's probably his best. I'm gonna try to go clear some of the cars around this curve. Okay. Can you get me unhooked on that one? If you can climb up in there and watch your knees. Yeah, that's my chain. So if you can get that off too. You can just throw it all on top of the bed. We'll deal with it later. I've done it there, haven't I? I might have to pull that one back in out of that groove. It's in there, man. It's in there bad. That's bad. Yeah, it's in there pretty good. I can't get to it to. You want me to try this side? Um. Just, it's lit. It's in there. We'll have to get it later. Chain stuck. I'll take that one, I guess. If I do both at once, it's slow down. A little bit, but. Would be bad for if I like to Okay. He needs. Usher has gone out and cleared path. Um, he has to go up and turn around. That is a delivery up there. He wanted to know if somebody could take it up there. I told him we would load it up on a tow truck and take it or just drive it. Just drive it. Drive it and then ride back down with him? Yeah. Okay. That's good enough. We'll deal with it later. Okay. So all three of the cars need to go up. Okay. So you just want to drive them up? Yeah, they'll probably be better just to drive. Will we have Coven look at the other one? Yeah, Coven, tell Coven to come up here and park behind me. Okay. I'll take I'll take the van. Okay. I'll I'll take the van and I'll follow him up. Okay. Do I need to go back down there and load that other one back up? If you want. Yeah. Yeah. Is. Load that one up and meet us at the top. That's what you can do right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And just meet us back up at Hold the top. Hold on. This is stuck here. I don't know what I've done. Okay. Here Where you go. The top All the way to the top. You can't. It just it's just a gigantic parking lot up there. You can't go wrong. Wow, he took out 
Oh yeah, that's what the officer said. He took out the light pole. Okay. I'll take the. You'll take the van. I'll take. The... You can get out of it. All right, guys. Got that clear. We're just gonna go ahead and drive these up top, so we're not really dealing with crazy stuff. Wow. This is cool. Stick shift. That's kind of hard to believe, but I'm going to have to uh, either set you guys down. You're not going to have much of a view, so I'm turning you off. All right, guys. Um, we're up here, Park Vista. This is the top of the parking lot. Cool little ambulance. Uh, I'm glad it's safe and made its way to the top here. We're going to see if we can uh, go back down. I think Coven's coming up to uh, offload one and uh we've got to get back to our back to our equipment Woo. okay well jeff is trying to unhook his chain which may now just become part of that truck i just wanted to show that even though he ran over the guardrail and a pole his tires are still good because jeff was able to get some good lift on it in the center and uh get it lifted up and scoot it over so this guy fared very well. Very fortunate that he's able to drive it so The reason he was coming up here is because he needed to deliver these three vehicles up here. And uh, I'm assuming due to the language barrier, he just didn't know that it was uh, a challenging road to traverse. But we had to unload all three. They didn't have any gas in them. And, uh, yeah, what a challenge. And Jeff's going to be over here beating on those chains for the rest of the day. Okay, guys, we're back over at the lot. Just finished up that, uh, that call there with the hotshot driver. Um, you know, I'm not sure what that guy was thinking trying to make those corners. Maybe he's n new at it, but I'm guessing he's traveled, I don't know across a few states with that thing anyway but he i don't know if it's he's he's fairly new his his first go at it but he should have never uh rounded those corners he should have known that his his trailer wouldn't have tracked that way but uh very lucky very lucky dude um there's a lot of weight on those things and if that trailer would have came up on that and and dumped all of those cars off in that ravine then wow i hope he's got really good insurance is all i got to say because uh, you know, we spoke with the, with the people that had the ambulance made as a custom build and said they had hundreds of thousand dollars in research and... Actually, I believe he said millions. Millions of dollars in yes. research and uh, development and uh, they're, they're going to have a big conference and they're expecting to take delivery of that. Um, the other two vehicles were, were pest control uh, trucks, I guess, but wow, what a, what a really lucky dude that, that it didn't. Um, I started the pull out. I thought, well, we'll just unload the two back ones and I was going to leave the ambulance because it was kind of over the back of his his truck. I thought, well, that's going to give him a little extra weight. So when I do pick the trailer up to pivot it over, that that would give me just a little more anchor point. But that it just didn't hold true for me. Uh, I, I needed to get that trailer up just a little bit out of my comfort zone to get it over the rail. So, you know, those those tires and, and the axle and everything was on the other side of that guardrail. So at the end of the day, we ended up offloading the ambulance too, just because it was getting a little bit too tipsy for me. And uh, I'm not comfortable with, with uh, risking someone's money <laughs> out there. So we, we set it back down, we got the ambulance offloaded and that just left me dealing with, uh, you know, getting some wheel chocks on his truck and he was in it running with the, with the foot brake applied and all that. So we're able to just get it picked up and get it scooted over, got to the top of the hill and he's gonna have to figure out how to load all of that stuff back up. And, you know, coming back down, I guess he can use that little turn in to swing a little wider. So hopefully he won't have any trouble. I don't know, maybe we might get another phone call. Oh, <laughs> I, hope I hope not. But he still has to load up those two pest control uh, trucks and come back down the hill and deliver those Lord knows where. I don't know if they're, staying in this state or if they're going to a different state but it always amazes me guys he you know he we got all of that done and and he's the language barrier and no money and he spoke uzbek u-z-b-e-k and i did not even have a translator on my phone for it so i could not 
translate. So I'm like miming to speak to him. I'm like playing charades to try to explain to him what we're doing. And yep. uh, fortunately, he did have a translator on his phone that we were able to use. Yeah, he knew enough to uh, to get by on his phone. But for us, it was, yeah, poor, poor Kristen. She was in the dark on this one. I was totally in the dark. Uh, <laughs> the only thing that uh, he could pretty much translate to me was I don't have any money. I don't have a card. I don't have any way of paying for this. Uh, he ended up giving us eight different phone numbers At least. for his company, called all of those people. They were either out of service, disconnected, or didn't answer. So it was getting kind of crazy there towards the end. And uh, that was a tough one, guys. We ended up getting uh, payment from the guy that's taking delivery of the ambulance. So, you know, not only did he pay that company to bring it here, and they almost lost it over the edge of the mountain, but he ended up having to pay us to for the recovery of it so that's going to be kind of a bad deal on on that part i'm not, not sure what's going to happen there <laughs> doesn't sound too good but uh, anyway at the end of the day we got payment on that one we got his truck and trailer safe at the top along with the cargo he's going to get loaded up and i hope he has enough driving abilities to make that thing back down the mountain and to their final <laughs> resting well he's going to have a hard time loading those trucks anyway because both of them were out of fuel both of them were empty. Yeah, we got there and he, they were trying to offload before we got there and the back truck was, uh, it rolled off the trailer and ran out of gas. And it, so, you know, we had both both trucks up there, Coven. Luckily we got Coven for the day helping and he was able to get the one truck out of the way and safely at the bottom of the mountain and then come back up and help me do some rigging. And, and it was another thing, he had to go back down and get that truck that he offloaded and take it back up to the top uh so he has a level place to load it back up but he's gonna have to get somebody to bring him some fuel for these they're, they're brand new trucks but i guess they just didn't have enough fuel in them to make it happen on the steep incline or the angle it might run once it's up there on level ground it might take off and run because it looked like the ambulance had like a quarter tank i'm guessing they all probably had about a quarter tank really cool really cool ambulance like i said it was a six speed front wheel drive diesel it was a ford was it a Ford? I don't know. It was really cool. So, yeah, somebody's really getting a cool ambulance. They're going to have a big conference, and uh, it's probably a big thing. It's a big meet, and uh, everybody shares their research, and it's probably a really cool gathering. So I hope that uh, the fellow that takes possession of that ambulance, and I hope it's a really good meet, and everybody has a good time. At least he's got something to talk about. It'd be kind of hard to come down here to do a conference and a meet and find that your ambulance is at the bottom of the mountain upside down. Oh, they're so lucky, but there was not a scratch on that thing. I mean, that thing, it was perfect. Yeah. There was there was no damage whatsoever. So very, very fortunate because that could have turned out way, way worse. Yeah, that could have been, that could have been really crazy. But anyway, uh, that was, that was that on there and uh, comment down below guys. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know, you know, if, if something could have been done different or what you guys think about that that was the safest way i could do that i could not believe we actually done that recovery and all the wheels on the trailer still had air no damage to the tires even after he ramped and took out light poles and guardrails and smashed everything i was able to get it picked up and set back down on the road and get him on his way so uh, that's always our, our ultimate goal is to uh to get things moving and not have to have any damage or tow anything or anything like that so he's very happy because it is a sunday and he would have not found anybody to put 19.5 tires on a hot shot trailer and so he'd have just been stranded he'd been staying there at the at the hotel that kind of puts a damper on delivery times if you're if you're down for 24 hours with with tires i didn't see any spares mm -hmm. he would have definitely tore up at least two tires uh, but yeah anyway guys beautiful day we're going to get back to work, so see you on the next one.